Okay. Let us formally open the meeting by saying hello and welcome to the Capitola Planning Commission meeting of January 19th, 2023. Uh, this meeting is being held on Zoom due to technical difficulties, but it is being cable cast live on Spectrum Cable TV channel eight and is being recorded to be rebroadcast on the following Monday and Friday at 1 p.m. Meetings can also be streamlined live or streamed live on YouTube or on the city's website. Our technician tonight is Brian. So with that, let us uh, have a roll call, please. Do we have a uh, stone? Commissioner Weston. There we go. Here. Commissioner Christensen. Uh, Chair Wilk. Here. Commissioner Etsy. Here. Commissioner Jensen. Here. Okay, um, since we're on Zoom and we're, typically we've suspended the Pledge of Allegiance because uh, no one's got a flag nearby. So we'll move on then to new business, which is the uh, swearing. Oh, Katie, did we want to talk about, uh, before we get to swearing in, did we want to talk about changing the uh, meeting time to 6 p.m. or some other time? Or do we want to do that before or after? You know, we can do that during uh, commissioner comments. Okay, then we will move ahead with the swearing in of the new planning commissioners. So, uh, Katie, who do you, uh, who would you like to go first? Hi there, I'm chiming in. This is Julia Moss, the city clerk. I'm um, starting my video feed. I'm on the other side of the room from Katie. So if I could have our two new commissioners, I'm going to read out the oath of office. I will take breaks. And if the two new commissioners could please repeat after me and follow along. Okay. So to begin, we're gonna start by saying I and then your name. If you could please raise your right hand as you are following along with me. So the first line of the oath of office is I, and then you're gonna state your name. I, Paul. I, I Jerry Jensen. Perfect. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will build true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion without any mental reservation and sorry purpose of evasion purpose of evasion great that i will well and faithfully discharge that i will well and faithfully discharge that i will and faithfully discharge the duties upon which i'm about to enter the duties upon which i am about to enter for the duties I, which i'm upon to enter Perfect. Congratulations to both of you, and thank you for participating in this remote swearing-in ceremony. Thank you. Congratulations thank you, and welcome. <clears throat> Very good. Um, okay, let's move on then. Yes, congratulations. Welcome to the Planning Commission. I hope you have uh, a good time, as good as, as good as I have anyway. Uh, let's move on then to the nomination. Uh, start with the election of a new chair. Um, I would like to nominate um, Susan Westman as the as the new chair of this body. Can we hear a second? I'll second. second. I'll hear a second from uh, Paul Etz, 
S S D. Sorry. Uh, so we have a, 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 a motion and a second. Um, are there any discussions or other nominations? Hearing none, let's call for a roll call vote. Commissioner Wilk. Aye. Commissioner Westman. Aye. Commissioner Esty. Aye. And Commissioner Jensen. Aye. You got the gavel, Susan. All right. Thank you very much, Peter. Um, so now we need to nominate a vice chair um, to serve for the next year on the Planning Commission. Are there anyone who would like to make a nomination? Well, ordinarily, I would like to nominate Courtney, but she's not here, so I don't even know if she wants the nomination. Uh, well, I actually talked to her earlier, um, and I, you know, I would like to nominate her, but being chair, it's really not my place to do that. Then I will nominate Courtney Christensen as vice chair of this committee. So we need I'll a second. second. I'll second. Okay, we have a second from Commissioner Jensen. Is there any discussion on this item? If not, we'll have a roll call vote. Commissioner Wilk. Aye. Chair Westman. Aye. Commissioner Esty. Aye. And Commissioner Jensen. Aye. Thank you. Okay, so the next item on our agenda is oral communications. Uh, and we don't have an audience. Is there anyone on Zoom who would like to make a comment on an item not related to tonight's agenda? So we, we do have um, public here. If there's any member of the public that would like to comment on anything not on tonight's agenda, this would be the time. Okay. Uh, looks like there's not anyone for oral communications tonight. So we will move on to additions and deletions to the agenda. Does staff have any or any? So thank, thank you, Chair Westman. Um, this evening, we are going to suggest some changes to the agenda um, in hearing the Planning Commission availability. We are suggesting that consent calendar item 4A uh, for 517 Oak Drive for a variance for the required parking dimensions to construct a first story addition without meeting the current parking standards. And also, um, on the public hearing agenda, item 5A for 4401 and 4525 Capitola Road be continued to next Wednesday. Um, I'm sorry, the date is escaping me at this moment for next Wednesday. But I believe it's the 25th um, of January. And we would post, put up new postings for both of those properties and uh, update our website as well as get um, get get a re-noticing in the newspaper. Um, and then the last item, 5B, we're suggesting that be heard at the first meeting in February. Um, so okay. that's the modifications to the agenda tonight. At City Hall, we're experiencing no internet connection. So we wanna make sure the public has um, the ability and the applicant has the ability to participate in the public hearing and we feel that um, holding a public hearing tonight would would not benefit either party. So those are our suggestions. So I'm making the assumption that we can make a motion to continue the two items as well as have the housing element at our next meeting all is all is one motion. Right. Um, so would someone like to make that motion? Yes, I'll make the mo I, I move that we uh, we have a continuance uh, uh, for items 4A and 5A until January 25th and a continuance for uh, item 5B until the normal February 2nd meeting. Okay, we need a second for that motion. I'll second that. As Thank a you. clarification on behalf of staff, the motion should include the time 
because it is a time certain continuance. So to be clear, items 4A and 5A would be continued to January 25th at 7 p.m. And um, then item 5B would be continued to your next regularly scheduled meeting date. Um, uh, so amended. Thank you. I, I guess right. we need a second on the amendment. Yeah. <laughs> the amendment. <laughs> okay. Uh, so can we have a roll call vote? Um, and who seconded the motion, just as a point of clarification? Commissioner uh, Thank you. Yeah. So to begin, um, Commissioner Wilk? Aye. Chair Westman? Aye. Commissioner Esty? Aye. And Commissioner Jensen? Aye. Motion uh, passes, thank you. So uh, I'm assuming there's not a director's report, but we did have an item under commission communications we wanted to discuss. Um, Commissioner Wilk brought up earlier. Yes, if, if I can come in with commission comments as, as a request um, to, the, uh, to the members of the commission to change the starting time of the, the normally scheduled meetings from 7 p.m. to 6 p.m. This, uh, this is consistent with what the city council did and, uh, <laughs> and it, it would be actually just more convenient for me personally to have it an hour earlier. Um, and so that's my recommendation. Okay, Ms. Anyone else have any other feelings or comments about changing the meeting time? Um, no, 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 that six o'clock is fine <clears throat> with me. Commissioner Jensen, are you okay with a six o'clock start time? Yes, totally fine. Um, and um, can we ask the staff how they feel about that since I believe they've had some discussion regarding changing the time. Yes, uh, we, we appreciate you asking and we're all supportive. If, if it works for the Planning Commission, a 6 p.m. start time can work for staff. Uh, 6 p.m. works fine for me. So uh, do we need to make a motion to make that official? No, no motion is necessary. We'll update the calendars. I do want to point out, though, the February 2nd meeting. We did have to put do the noticing for last week. So that meeting will be at 7 p.m., but all meetings after the February 2nd meeting will be at 6 p.m. Thank you. Well, so there is some a little confusion on that because the previous motion, we said that item 5B would be at the regularly scheduled time, which is now 6 o'clock. Oh. Let me <laughs> so, clarify. Yeah. So January 25th and February 2nd meetings will both be at 7 p.m. After that, meetings will start at 6 p.m. Okay, that's clear enough with me. Yeah. Sounds good. Are there any other council communications? Uh, seeing none, then I think we get to adjourn our first meeting and nice to have two new planning commissioners with us. Thank yes, you. welcome gentlemen. Yeah, so the meeting is adjourned.